Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Wow, what a fantastic ruin this is. I've brought you to Bayham Old Abbey near Tunbridge Wells, one of our finest um, 13th century abbeys left in the south of England. It's actually even more impressive than I thought it was going to be. I knew it was going to be impressive anyway because it's an old ruin. I love old ruins. But this is something else. It's really, really impressive. It's actually much larger than I thought it was. Uh, built in 1207 originally. Yes, yeah, a bit blowy today. It's actually just calmed down, but the uh, sun keeps peeping out. So let's go and have a look around Bayham Old Abbey. This is the massive cloister. Wow. And look what it probably looked like originally. Can you just imagine the activity in this place um, in its heyday? Absolutely fantastic. The craftsmanship of the stonework is, is incredible. This is a chapel, one of the many chapels here. A little stairwell. We've gone up to the next level. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. This was the Abbey Church, the most important part of the whole Abbey. Just walking along here and it's got a bit of a poof, a bit of a whoosh, what I call a whoosh. I'm not psychic anybody, nothing like that, but I do feel certain energies, whatever those energies are. And I'm not even out looking for them. Um, but yeah, amazing. A deep pretty much dowsing rods actually might be worth just seeing if there's any earth energy currents that go through these places, which probably are. I'd be very surprised if there wasn't. Once again, why are these places built where they were? This is the gatehouse built in the early 14th century, which would have been the main entrance into the abbey. There's fortification also uh, put in the 18th century. I do love these old ruins. I mean, I went to Farnham Castle recently, uh, did a video from there. And uh, the depth of history that these places go back to are quite extraordinary. Absolutely incredible. Sorry, it's so really blowy today. I've seen a guy out filming lately, it's been really blowy. Filmmakers don't like wind or rain. When the Abbey was dissolved by Cardinal Wolseley, a lot of the locals really kicked off about it because it was their sort of spiritual home, their spiritual centre. There's a lot of people put out of work. Um, you know, the abbey's not just for worship. A lot of people had to, had work to do here. You know, uh, stonemasons. Loads of cans of decking oil in there. The wealthy Sir John Pratt bought the estate in 1714. And it was a country residence for the Pratt family for over 250 years. Sort of old door alert. <laughs> yeah, I mean the abbey's fantastic but this, this house is actually quite cool as well. So there you go, a little walk around Bayham Old Abbey, maintained by English Heritage, which I rejoined recently. A magnificent ruin, so even more impressive than I thought it was going to be. So yeah, really impressive. But now on the journey, we're going to go somewhere just down the road, which is now a National Trust property in Scotney Castle.
So here I am at Scotney Castle, a National Trust property. First of all, we're gonna have a look at the house and then have a look around uh, the 14th century medieval manor. So it's got the castle, it's okay to video and everything, which is great. Let's have a little look around. <laughs> All these fantastic old books, look at them, fantastic. Outside. Just trying to work out which way to go. Right, it's the entrance, right? We're going to go back this way. That's the main lobby. stairwell I don't think that's actually that old and then views out onto the, the estate there's cows in that field I ain't going there there's cows in that field there's a good sort of one-way system going on in this house it really works for um, not bumping into people which is great walk around the house didn't know much about it unfortunately but it's uh, really interesting some of the uh, furniture is incredible just go down to the old medieval 14th century ruin so I haven't been here since 2010 and I can't remember much about it for some reason I, I digged out the old photos that we took there's a day out with um, Al and Kat remember of course we've got groundsmen skimming lawns so we have noise. century very busy here today but it is a popular natural trust site I think it's the last hurrah before the kids go back to school and people won't be able to get out so much that doesn't apply to me yeah lovely it's all coming back to me now really cool Scotney Castle all I'm gonna do now is I think I have a little walk around the perimeter a little pathway around the perimeter to get some better views well that was nice I got recognized by one of my viewers um, David and Barbara, hello, thank you. Nice to catch up with you and have a little chat. 
they also watch uh, Richard Vogue's the Baltic Explorers uh, video channel as well. So here I am, deepest Kent, miles from home, and uh, I get recognised by a viewer, which is really, really nice and flattering. So thank you very much, and I hope you're having a great day. So that was a great little trip around Scotney Castle. I'm now going just down the road into Lamberhurst for a pub lunch at the Checkers. Let's go. So that was a nice pub lunch in the Checkers in Lamberhurst in Kent near Tunbridge Wells. We're now, before we go home, we're now going to go to uh, the local church, which I saw on uh, Google Maps. I thought, well, let's just check that out before we go. So let's uh, have a look. So here we are at St Mary's Church, beautiful old church, Saxon origins. And I've got to look for the yew tree, which is 1500 years old. But before we do, look at this. How's that for an older door? You know me and old doors. That's old. And so is this one. I've got to touch them, you know, I've got to touch them. Very old doors. Here's the yew tree, 1500 years old. Wow, before the church was even here. I say again, why are churches and sacred sites built where they were? So the yew tree could have been a, um, a centre point for some sort of worship, pagan worship. I've seen a lot of yew trees late, uh, lately, great, uh, this year, especially since sort of March. I've seen about three or four. Gorgeous. A couple of people in here already who are, I imagine, volunteers. Records in this church go back to 998, which is extraordinary. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love these tombs. This one's from 1657. 1657. Isn't that amazing? some uh, hatchments up there which I only discovered what they were until very recently when I was doing uh, videos along the um, uh, A246 So there you go, a very short jaunt to St Mary's Church in uh, Lamberhurst. Nice ladies in the church, very happy for me to walk around. Um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this little video. In deepest Kent, trying to go further afield this time, getting out of Surrey a little bit. 
I'm sort of not I'm saying I've exhausted Surrey but I need to look at some of the surrounding um, counties as long as my car holds up so I hope you've enjoyed the video please like subscribe all the usual stuff and we'll see you next time take care